seat took on a more edgy style with the Ibiza that arrived in mid-2008. Gone was the rounded looks of the previous model, replaced by a seat Ibiza that is more modern and chic to take on the Ford Fiesta and Vauxhall Corsa. As well as the looks of the old model, the new Ibiza also ditched the essence, reference and style and trim names in favour of the more easily understood S, say and sport versions. This was then revised to give buyers the choice of S, say, Ecomotive and FR versions. Offered in three- and five-door styles, the hatch is a well-made supermini with good interior space and a decent drive. Revisions in early 2012 brought even sharper looks for both the three-door SC and five-door hatch models. Plenty of engine choice The seat Ibiza cannot be accused of limiting engine choice for buyers. When it was launched in 2008, Seat provided buyers with an array that started with the 69 bhp 3 cylinder 1.2 litre motor. A 1.4 litre petrol offers more oomph thanks to 84 bhp, while the 102 bhp petrol was reserved for the sport trim only. A 1.9 litre turbo diesel with 105 bhp was offered at the beginning of the Ibiza's production, but dropped soon after. Seat then wowed the buying public in late 2008 with its superb Ecomotive model that delivered 99 GKM carbon dioxide emissions and 76.0 miles per gallon. It offers 80 bhp from its 1.2 litre turbo diesel engine, with economy aided by a manual gearbox with revised gear ratios for greater economy. There is also a non ecomotive version of the 1.2 to do with 102 GKM emissions and 72.4 miles per gallon. A new 1.6 litre turbo diesel with 105 bhp arrived in mid 2009 with 109 GKM emissions and 67.2 miles per gallon economy. The engine range was further enhanced in late 2010 with the 1.2 TSI petrol with 103 bhp and the choice of 5-speed manual or 7-speed DSG automatic gearboxes. The 1.4 TSI ups power to 148 bhp and only comes with a DSG gearbox. While a 2.0-litre turbo diesel delivers 141 bhp through a 6-speed manual gearbox for spirited performance. Spanish style the seat Ibiza has always been one of the more stand-out lookers in the super mini sector and this car is no different. It comes in 3-door SC and 5-door hatch styles. The SC is touted as a coupe, though it's really just a 3-door version of the Ibiza hatch. Still. It has flair and all Ibizas enjoyed a refresh in early 2012 with even sharper creases around the headlights. Optional LED daytime running lights and xenon headlights help the Ibiza stand apart from the crowd. New kit and engines in 2015 facelift revisions in 2015 included new engines and safety tech, as well as a restyled interior, headlights with LED daytime running lights and new wheel and paint options. Performance, thanks to a comprehensive range of both petrol and diesel engines there is something to suit everyone's preferences and budgets. Those looking for the ultimate in seat Ibiza performance should look at the FR version. Petrol engines The most popular engine in the Ibiza range is the 1.4 litre petrol engine with 84 bhp. It's a non-incense motor that offers decent low and mid-range pull and delivers good economy, though the emissions of 139 GKM are only average for this class. Below the 1.4 in the Ibiza range sits the 1.2 litre petrol with 69 bhp, which is more to recommend it than the bare figures might suggest. It pulls strongly from low revs and has an offbeat three-cylinder engine note that suits the Ibiza. The four-cylinder 1.2 TSI comes with a turbocharger to give 104 bhp and covers off 062 miles per hour in 9.7 seconds when coupled to the DSG gearbox or 9.8 seconds with the five-speed manual box. 
the less powerful 69 bhp 1.2 needs 13.9 seconds with the 1.4 in the middle ground at 11.8 seconds at the top of the petrol pile is the 148 bhp 1.4 tsi engine that comes with a 7 speed dsg dual clutch automatic gearbox it provides 062 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds and only comes in sport CFR trim. Diesel engines the 1.2 T DI turbo diesel engine in the Ibiza offers superb economy and low emissions whether you choose it in standard form or ecomotive trim. A standard, it offers 72.4 miles per gallon and 102 GKM carbon dioxide output. But go for the Ecomotive and you get superb 80.7 miles per gallon average consumption allied to 92 GKM emissions to qualify for free road tax. If you spend a lot of miles on the motorway, the 1.6 litre diesel with 104 bhp is a sound choice thanks to its strong pull at all revs and quiet manners. It's helped by 65.7 miles per gallon economy and 112 GKM emissions, making it a better bet than the punchy 141 BHP 2.0 litre TDI that comes only in FR trim. It may offer 062 miles per hour in 8.2 seconds to the 1.6's 10.5 seconds. But the 2.0 litre motor remits 123 GKM and gives 60.1 miles per gallon economy to trail its smaller counterparts in the cost stakes. The 2.0 litre uses a 6 speed manual gearbox where the 1.6 has a 5 speed box. Parkers recommends while the diesels are mightily impressive and we wouldn't criticize anyone for choosing the Ecomotive model. The Ibiza is works well with the 84 bhp 1.4 litre petrol engine that is both affordable and good to drive. Updated engine range in 2015 a completely new generation of petrol and diesel engines was introduced along with the facelift in 2015. Kicking things off is a three cylinder. 1.0 litre unit producing 74 bhp without a turbo or 94 bhp or 108 bhp with a turbo. The 4 cylinder 1.4 eco TSI petrol comes with active cylinder management, allowing it to shut down cylinders when not needed to improve efficiency. This means 148 bhp for perky performance but impressive combined fuel consumption of 58.9 miles per gallon. Handling, a wider stance and slightly longer wheelbase, combined with lower weight than on the previous version of the Ibiza makes this model feel more agile and responsive on the road. Now measuring more than 4 meters long in common with the contemporary Vauxhall Corsa, Renault Clio. Peugeot 207 and Fiat Grand Panto the Ibiza is a more visibly imposing car, but it hasn't compromised how it feels to drive. It's still one of the more engaging cars in this class when on a twisty road, with good body control and a composed ride. The light steering is lacking a little feel but is precise and pretty direct. In 2015 the chassis was updated with speed-sensitive electric steering and retuned springs, dampers and anti-roll bars. As an option seat drive profile enabled adaptive damping in either comfort or sport mode. Equipment, the previous generation model trim levels were very confusing so the Spanish company has simplified things. However, Given there are 11 trims to choose from and some of the trim names appear similar you still need to exercise care when choosing so you know what seat Ibiza equipment levels come with which trim. Seat Ibiza trims the seat Ibiza ditched the old essence, reference and style and trims when it replaced the previous model in 2008. These sometimes confusing trim names were replaced with the more obvious S, say in sport trims, but now we have S say, Ecomotive and Sport CFR. At launch, the S offered electric front windows, CD stereo, power steering, tower adjustable steering column, ISO fixed child seat mounts, 
remote central locking and steel wheels. The say up this with cruise control, rear electric windows, split and fold rear seat and alloy wheels. There's also a seat Ibiza Tuka edition, launched in 2013. This is identical to the say spec but adds a portable touch screen with satnav and Bluetooth connectivity to being the Spanish word for touch and also gets 16-inch Stratos alloy wheels. Go for the sport and the Ibiza offers leather-covered steering wheel and gear knob, sports seats and 16-inch alloy wheels. The Ecomotive model stands out with its slow rolling resistance tires, revised gear ratios and stop start to improve economy and reduce emissions. There is a Cupra version of the SC3 door model, but this hot hatch is quite different to the standard Ibiza and has its own review. Standard seat Ibiza equipment seat equips the S model with central locking, alarm and immobilizer to keep it safe, while twin front and side airbags are also standard. Air conditioning is fitted across the entire range, while the CD stereo has an MP3 connection. Split and fold rear seats are standard on the S model. The SEA adds alloy wheels and electrically adjusted door mirrors while the FR has larger 16-inch alloy wheels, cruise control, LED daytime running lights and ESP traction control. Ecomotive models may be focused on economy and low emissions, but they're not a hair shirt option as they come with air conditioning and ESP in both S and SA trims. Seat Ibiza accessories for non-Ecomotive S and SA models, ESP stability control is an option, as are alloy wheels for the S model. Cruise control is standard for the FR but can be added to the other Ibiza models as an option, along with metallic paint and Bluetooth connection for mobile devices. For both the SC3 door and 5 door hatch, there are sporty exterior options that include a new front spoiler and sports exhaust at the rear. Seat also offers lowering springs for a sportier drive. There's also a range of alloy wheel options while inside the Ibiza can be brightened up with a variety of different colored console trims. Roof rails, a roof box, cycle carrier and tow bar are all extras on offer. Tom Tom Satnav is a simple addition that sits on top of the dash in a dedicated mount with integral charger. New infotainment added in 2015 facelifted cars come with a second generation Easy Connect infotainment system which can be further enhanced mirror link smartphone integration function. Comfort, there is room for 5 adults though for the best seat Ibiza comfort sticking to 4 adults should ensure there are little complaints. Rear space is adequate for a small hatch like this and there's reasonable headroom too. Air conditioning is fitted as standard on all cars except on the 1.2S where it's an option. The S and E Ecomotive models have manually adjusted door mirrors on all other models Era Electric. Electric windows are standard fronts only on the S and the Ibiza's cabin is far more insulated from noise than before, although the 1.2 litre model does make itself heard more than the others. Practicality, the Ibiza's boot is among the largest in this class. Easily able to swallow a couple of suitcases before you have to think about folding down the rear seats. With 292 litres it's similar to a Ford Fiesta and larger than the Volkswagen Polo. The rear seats fold down to boost space and the Ibiza can carry a surprising amount overall. Fiesta's decent storage up front although the shallow glove box is disappointing. Safety the 2008 Ibiza is among one of the safest small cars on the road, achieving the highest star rating in official independent crash tests for occupant protection 5 stars and for child protection 4 stars. The pedestrian impact rating of 3 stars has not been bettered by a car without a sophisticated pop-up bonnet to increase protection. New safety kit was added in 2015 including a tiredness recognition system which can spot diminishing driver concentration, and multi-collision brake which automatically slows the vehicle down following a serious impact. If the airbag goes off then the brakes can be automatically activated and the hazard lights switched on. Reliability, 
Many of the components in the Ibiza are used in other cars, such as the Skoda Fabia and Volkswagen Polo, so they are well developed and shouldn't cause any major problems.